Hi everybody, welcome back to Toy Club and today I have for you another video from Slovenian families or Kaliko Critters depending on where you are in the world and today I'm going to show you something super super exciting. What I'm going to be showing today is the triple bunk bed. Oh my gosh, so cool. Can you see that there? This is the kitties bunk bed but it's the triple bunk bed so there's three different ones in three different colors blue pink and yellow and it's so 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 cool here's another picture of it and that's what we're going to be opening up and putting in there somewhere uh, I haven't decided where I want to put it but this is what uh, we're going to be mess playing around with today and the bunk beds do need someone to sleep in them so I picked up the meerkat triplets you can see them they're so cute and we're going to be putting them into the bunk beds and it's gonna be so much fun so stay tuned we're gonna do that right now so here is a much closer look at the packaging and what we're going to do is we're going to um, open it and put it together at the front of the house now and then I'll decide where I'm going to put it later on. Maybe you guys can help me decide. I'm not really sure which room inside I want to put it. So here's everything out of the box. So we've got three beds, of course, because it's a triple bunk bed. And here are the covers and it seems also the ladders, but we'll deal with that. We'll play with that in a moment. First, let's look at the beds themselves. And oh my gosh, they're so adorable. The blue one, you can see it has some detail on the front or at the back, you could say. Well, yeah, the head is the front. Here, I guess it's the back, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you can see that there are some blue fishes there. And then you get this detail on the side. And then there's the shape cut out of a fish again. And then the blue balls at the top, so that's the blue one. And that's what it looks like. Here is the yellow one, and this one has like little uh, duckies at the back, so cute. It also has the detail on the side and the cutout there, and some more detail on that side. And this has the yellow balls at the top here, so this is the yellow one. And the pink one, which is probably my favourite, that's the one I would choose. This has little flowers on the side there, and then the detail, and then it has a little cutout of a flower at the top, that's so cute. And some more detail on the side, and the pink round the top. I really, really love that these beds come apart like this. Oh, I've got this the wrong way around. There we go. I really love that these come apart like this because then it gives you so many options. You can either have them one single bed like that or you can have one on top of the other. You can see and then have one as a normal bed on the side. I mean, there's no right or wrong. You can do any mix and match colors as you want. And if you wonder how they're sticking together, you can see that each one actually has these little holes at the bottom and those holes allow you to stack the beds on top of each other. There, you can see that they can just stack on each other easily. So that's the, another option. The third option is also, and it's such a cool option, is that you can have one high, and two low. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. So this is another option. This is super, super cool. So you can have one at the top and two at the bottom and there's a little space down there. And down there you can do anything. You could put like, people can play hide and seek maybe and hide underneath there. Or you could put toys underneath there or just anything you want. And this I think is a super cool option as well. You can also go totally traditional and do and do the standard bunk bed situation where or triple bank bunk bed and have them each stacked on top of each other like that. There you go guys, I zoomed out a little bit so you can see the bunk bed and all of it from top to bottom. And this is how I guess it was supposed to be, you know, how they thought you could do it. This is how bunk beds normally are, one on top of each other, and I love this option too. This is super, super cool. 
So guys, I've unstacked the beds again, so they're all flat again, because I actually want to make the beds, and I want to put the meerkat uh, triplets, triplet babies in there as well, so I put them back here, because I want to see them in the corner of my eye. But yes, I want to make the beds so I can give them each their beds and put it into the hotel so it will have its place. So this is the bedding that it came in with, it's in this packaging and the, the colours look super colourful, I'm sure you guys can see that. Um, the screen is a little bit blurry at the moment but I will fix that in a moment but the, these are this is all the bedding. We'll start with the pink set, my favourite, and you can see, firstly it comes with this quilt, um, this sort of mattress with a built-in pillow. You can see that the stitching is up here and this is the pillow, so it's all built in. So you just place that there with the pillow up top at the head of the bed. And this is actually a duvet, well it's like a little snuggle thing, I don't even know what I would call it, but it would go on the bed like this and the baby that lies in there would actually have to tuck him or herself inside there to keep themselves warm, it's so cool, it's like they're in a little sack, <laughs> a little warm duvet sack, I think that's such a cool idea. So that is the pink one, so that lies flat like that. Here is the yellow one, exactly the same thing, oh it's that way around. Uh, here is the mattress with the built in pillow and of course it lies down like that and I forgot to mention that the sack cover, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it, a sack cover, uh, it has like these polka dots, you can see like white polka dots, the pink one was exactly the same, had the pink, had sorry, the white polka dots with the pink, and this yellow one has it, and then the blue one which I'm going to show in a moment also has that, so that will go just like that very neatly. And then finally we have this blue adorable one as well, the mattress with the built in pillow, and then you put the pillow at the top, and then you put the sack duvet cover down there like that. So adorable, so cute. Finally, we get these two cute white stairs with like a hook on the side. This is so whoever is sleeping in the second or third highest bed can climb to get to their bed. Of course the person who is at the bottom can just jump on very very easy but whoever's on the second level or even the third level which is the highest one will need definitely these to help him or her get up there. Let me know guys which one is your favourite. Is your favourite the pink one like me, the yellow one or the blue one? Make sure you let me know in the comment section so I know which one you guys are loving. That's perfect. So guys that turned out really really well. I think, I think it might be time to put some meerkats in. Oh my gosh I'm so excited. So I figured there was no way I could show you guys the bunk beds without actually showing you some critters in them and I decided to pick up as well as the bunk beds, or well, the triple bunk beds should I say, these meerkat triplets and they're so adorable so yeah these are triplet babies and of course they come in the pack of three of course triplets. So yeah, I'm going to put them each inside one of the beds. They're all going to have one of the beds each. It's so cool. And you know what I just noticed before? The colours sort of match. Can you see that? The kind of colours coordinate a little bit. Uh, the blue one for the blue one. The yellow for the yellow. And the sun is not in pink, but it's in red, so it's pretty close. So here they are out of the package, so they look even more adorable. Look at those eyes! So cute, those eyes are so big and so adorable. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. If you ever want to know what some of these critters are called, you can actually go on the website and it tells you. So this one in red is Prudence, so that's a girl. The middle one in blue is called Peregrine. 
or peregrine I hope I'm pronouncing that properly and that's a boy and then the one in yellow it's kind of like a green yellow color uh, this one is called Penelope so another girl so we've got two girls and a boy and this is I think the order of the age the eldest to the youngest so here is a zoom into their new room the new triplets room and if the floor looks a little bit shiny I just gave it a little clean so we could just slip it in like that but it just looks so tiny in this huge room so I think maybe I think I'm going to have it in the style of so I've put the camera in a different angle so you guys can have a better look and I think this is probably the best setup because it really really takes advantage of that space and I don't know I just think it looks the best and if you're wondering how that middle person is going to get to that I mean yeah, unfortunately the ladder isn't long enough to touch the bottom, but we couldn't actually put it on the side because look, it kind of goes onto the bed, it doesn't it doesn't hang on properly, it was just not a good idea. So I just put it there. Whoever is there has a little jump, they'll be able to get to it and climb up top. So if you noticed, I changed the beds around a little bit because I wanted to have prudence who is the eldest of the three meerkat triplets. There she is, she's the one in red. That's cute little Prudence there. She is actually the eldest of the triplets. So I decided to put her at the top because I think the eldest should go to the top. So she would just have to climb up the stairs like that and just get into the bed just like that. And like I said, what would happen is that they would get into the beds like this I hope you can see that guys oh my god doesn't she look snuggly this is the perfect size for a baby oh my gosh they made it perfect and you can see she's snuggly in there and she would just lie down with her head on the pillow we don't want our whole head in there because we want her to be able to breathe through the night of course but there and she snuggled up so one down two to go so next we have baby Penelope who is actually the youngest and she is going to go inside the yellow bed and all you have to do is open here up hope you guys can see that and just put baby Penelope in there just like we did with Prudence before and there we just lie her down with her head on the pillow oh they look so peaceful and finally we have the middle triplet so he's the middle one not the eldest not the youngest this is peregrine and he's a baby boy so cute and he's going to go inside the blue covers of course and just like before we just have to lift here up and then you can see the space there and then you can just put the baby in nice and gently put him to sleep oh so cute I think he's tired I'm kind of getting tired <laughs> I wish I had a sack cover like this this is so cute and there he is all snuggled up as well and he can go lie next to his sisters so guys I think they're asleep I'm trying to whisper because I don't want to wake them up but this is such a cute set oh look how adorable they look so sweet oh my god I don't want to wake them up but don't you think this is the cutest cutest thing ever from Slovenian families or Coleco Critters if any of you guys have this do you guys love this as much as I do because I really really love this set and I'm glad that we started with the triple bunk beds because I think it's such a cool set to start with and I'm so glad I got the baby meerkats they're so adorable oh my god they're so cute so 
that's what it looks like and I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe now so you can watch more of my videos I'm always showing loads of stuff from Slovenian families of Coleco Critters if you want to see how I decide to decorate the rest of the room you remember guys there's all this space here and I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in that space I think I might put a baby nursery or something let me know what you guys think but so far I think this is a great addition all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time bye, -bye.